Paul and Pauline here. We're uh, down at Caves Beach and we're here to read a story about David in the cave. In 1 Samuel 24, there's a story how David was running away from Saul, who with 3,000 men were trying to find him in the, in the desert and then get him up in the caves and David was hiding there. Well, Saul went into the cave to relieve himself and David crept up behind him and cut a piece of his robe. And then later on he speaks to Saul and says, I could have killed you, but I didn't because you don't touch the Lord's anointed. So let's read that, 1 Samuel uh, 24. After Saul returned from pursuing the Philistines, he was told David is in the desert of En Gedi. Pauline and I have been there, we know what it's like down near the Dead Sea. And there are huge cliffs with caves in them. So Saul took 3,000 able young men from all of Israel and set out to look for David and his men near the crags of the wild goats. And when we were there, we saw the wild goats. He came to the sheep pens along the way. A cave was there, and Saul went in to relieve himself. David and his men were far back in the cave. The men said, This is the day the Lord spoke of when he said to you, I will give your enemy into your hands for you to deal with as you wish. Then David crept up, unnoticed, and cut off a corner of Saul's robe. Afterward, David was conscience-stricken for having cut off a corner of the, his robe. He said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed, or lay my hand upon him, for he is the anointed of the Lord. With these words, David sharply rebuked his men and did not allow them to attack Saul. And Saul left the cave and went his way. Then David went out of the cave and called out to Saul, My Lord the King! When Saul looked behind him, David bowed down and prostrated himself with his face to the ground. He said to Saul, Why do you listen when men say, David is bent on harming you? This day you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord delivered you into my hands in the cave. Some urged me to kill you, but I spared you. I said, I will not lay my hand on the Lord's, because he is the Lord's anointed. See, my father, look at this piece of your robe in my hand. I cut off the corner of your robe, but did not kill you. See that there is nothing in my hand to indicate that I am guilty of wrongdoing or rebellion. I have not wronged you but you are hunting me down to take my life. May the Lord judge between you and me, and may the Lord avenge the wrongs you have done to me, but my hand will not touch you. As the old saying goes, from evil doers come evil deeds, so my hand will not touch you. So there's lessons in that for all of us, you know. We should not become a problem for the Lord's anointed, even though Saul was a bad king. Uh, David wanted to honour his position. He was appointed and, and anointed, and the, the word of the Lord says you don't touch the Lord's anointed. So look after your pastor, wherever you are. Uh, make sure you don't hurt him or harm. He's got enough problems as it is without anyone touching the Lord's anointed. So that's from Caves Beach, a little word from the Lord. You uh, get into the Word yourself and let the Word of God get into you. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.